All right, guys. Welcome to the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office. Thanks for applying, and you're welcome for being accepted. First off, you got to make sure your uniform's right. You're only going to have a taser and the baton. In your loadouts, you should have a corrections loadout. It's going to give you a stun gun, a flashlight, unarmed, and a night stick. That is literally all you have. That is all you need as well. Alright, so when there are no calls, your fancy little van or the international bus are going to be parked outside station, whatever station we're at. And you're going to be inside the station, manning the desk. If you press M menu, you're going to get civilian toolbox. If you go to adverts, you can use any of these. I don't really care which one. If you want to do is, and then you just go desk uh, deputy at Sandy Shores Chair Station. Until call for transport. You do a little message like that. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm not quite that picky. And you just press enter. And a little gizmo pops up. And you just sit here and wait. You, if people come in, you'll hop over to the CAD. You'll uh, take their note, whether you want to use notepad or some other thing. I don't care. And you can hop in here, and you can take their reports, and all these other fancy gizmos. Alright, if you guys are set, you can radio for me. Through Discord, I don't have TeamSpeak open. Of course, you're going to have TeamSpeak open, and you're going to listen... So you open that up, and it's postal 263, one white male. Copy. Transport is en route. You'll leave the station. And you'll just walk on outside. It's kind of the boring part. I'm sure we all know what comes next, right? And you're going to drive there. No lights, no sirens. Code 1. Make sure to get with Mr. Farmer or one of the FTOs to get this van, as that will be how you get this van, because for some reason the spawn code doesn't work for it. And we're just going to putz on around. This thing has a really weird sound file, but that works. Nope, don't go yet. You're going to get a hit. That's bad. Oh, come on. And if you're going to Harmony, you can take the dirt road or stay on the asphalt. This van is capable either way. Really rough ride though. As you approach scene, you will turn on your lights. We'll slow down. And you pull in behind the other deputy. He'll step out. You walk up to him. Hey, how's it going? Oh, going good, and you, sir. Pretty good. All right, where would you like him transported to? Uh, if you could take him back to the station. And then uh, I'm gonna, I'll book him and stuff, and then you can take him to the prison. All right, sounds good. All right, I'll meet you back there. All right, sir, please walk with me. Sometimes you might have to drag him, but get real sketchy. You can fit one passenger, one person in the back. All right, sir, if we could please enter the back here.
try now, maybe. There we go. Yeah, if it does the few things like this, you'll have to go in and close the doors. All right. Transport en route to Sandy Shore Station. You make sure traffic's clear. You leave your lights on during this whole part. And you'll make your U-turn. As you leave, you turn off your lights. It's immense. Just regular driving. Now, if the suspect's a little rowdy, tries to run away and stuff, you have a taser, go ahead and tase him. Get off my pedals. Uh, don't even hear you. And, uh... If they're not, you can go ahead and put them in the vehicle and just take off. All nice and kosher. the asphalt, took the dirt. Now our Sandy Shore station changes quite a bit, so I never know what station we're going to have in. You're always welcome to go through the front door. For this walk through here, we're going to go to the back door. So that goes straight to the cells. Alright, sir, if you'd step out for me. Walk on with me. Now, if you come to the doors, you get that little fancy lock thing. You press E as in Edward. This bar pops up. One, two, three. It's uh, three nines. Doors open. Walk on through. Down the stairs, sir. Make sure you lock the door behind you. This door doesn't really need it. Kind of stuck here now. And you're going to place him in a cell. Again, E and three nines. Alright, so this should be good for you to walk into. Alright. Now you let the officer do whatever he's going to do with the man until he tells you he's good for you to transport him to the prison. You don't actually have to use an amount, that's just me doing this. Basically, they'll be putting his charges together and things like that. Oh. Alright, you all good to go? This transport's gonna take you down to the prison, alright? Okay. Alright. Alright. Alrighty, uh, how long is he going for? Uh, it's gonna be 60 seconds. Copy. Alright, sir, I need you to face away from me and back up to the wall. Deputy, you might want to step away. Alright, so, you press M, please toolbox actions, you can cuff, uncuff, drag, you can seat them, unseat them. Uh, you got different radar options, different inventory options. You can physically search their inventory if they set their inventory on the civ side. Things like that. You can go cuff or uncuff. It'll cuff them. 
All right. And you press E. Make sure the officer on scene searched him. All righty, sir. Come on out. Maybe. Oh, he's out. And up the stairs again. Always lock when the door is shut shut. All right, sir, if you wouldn't mind stepping in the back again. And we're going to have to go to the options again. If you back up, turn your lights on. You don't have to honk, but this way here you're grabbing attention to the lights. And you leave. If you ever have to do a special transport to the prison, like a, a threat transport, um, your supervisors and that will tell you how to drive. You're just going to be in the van doing what they say at that time. You'll probably have one or two cars ahead of you, one or two cars behind you. I don't have enough people available tonight to show you that, but uh, your job is to drive the van. They will tell you how to drive it. They want lights and sirens. Go for it. They don't, then don't. If the whole uh, convoy blows an intersection with lights on, you do that. Basically what they do, you do. We're gonna take this man up to the prison now. As of the time of this recording, which is January 30th, 2023 at 1908, they put the Alcatraz prison in. Um, we have no way to get there with you guys. As HOC, we do have pilots and stuff in the sheriff's office, but we're not going to tie them up to a prisoner transport. So at station, that's going to be station. I always do this real weird because this is what I do in real life. It's a real nasty corner like that. I don't rely on my mirrors. I use my eyeballs. And we come over here. But you're always just going to transport them to Bolingbroke if they want them taken to the prison themselves. You can possibly do this from the scene. It honestly just depends on what the office would like to do. We do transport for all departments, not just MCSO. Oh, that actually went up today. Oh well. You're gonna stop. Let the gate open. You can pull in. You can make some chit chat with the guards. There's never any guards here, but someday we might. Mm hmm. You enter this gate. You can be all fancy, and the dogs just stole my stupid foot pedals. Hang on. He stepped out of the vehicle, I heard that. That's no big deal. He knows what we're doing. Alright, then you're going to step out. Alright, sir, I have recovered my foot pedal from my puppy dog. You can now step out of the vehicle. Follow me. You're going to go through this gate here. You don't have to worry about taking your lethal weapons off, yada, 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 because you have no lethal other than your baton. You go in this door. I got to figure out which door does what. I got a question for you. Yes. Why do you walk like you got a sticker butt? Uh, I don't know why. All right. Where are we going? Where are we going in that main hallway? So this is just kind of like the entry area. This is like some kind of visitation area. If you want, you can bring the subject in here. And then you go, all right, sir, if you could please face away. You go in your M menu again, you go actions on cuff, or you can cheat the system and go T slash cuff. Some people have a key binded. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm not very technologically smart, don't worry about it. Alright, sir, what's your magic number? 
14. All right, so magic number means their ID in game. You can press your home button and you can verify real quick his number is 14. That's what he told you. You go to M, police toolbox, actions, you'll find jail. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. And you're going to put 14 in. Now, no matter what the officer tells you to put the man in for, you always put him in for a simple two seconds. If you don't put nothing in, they go in for 30 seconds minimum. But just put them in for two because at that point, they've already been transported all over the place. And they've wasted a lot of their RP time. But this is how it's going to be. In their eyes, they've wasted the RP time because some of the civs don't want this. But it's what we're doing. And press enter and they go poof. And you go back out to your car and you go, all right, transport is available once again. And yada yada, you go back out to your car. You can do a little, like, open all the doors, clean out your car, whatever you would like. And then you just return to station. I'm not going to bore you guys in this uh, walkthrough with that. But that is pretty much everything that it is. Now, once you are done transporting someone, I don't care if it's going to the station or coming to the prison. If uh, you're transporting them twice, you only need to put one item. We'll check our CAD, see if that form got added. I don't think it did. I don't see it. Let me check one other spot. Yeah, I don't see it. Alright, I'm gonna close my CAD, restart it, but in the meantime, we're gonna get an annoying pop up. We'll slide that up. So, anyways, we'll go to the police in the CAD, full screen it. You're going to go records, and in records, or report, there's going to be a transport. It's not in here as of making this walkthrough for you guys. Um, it was supposed to be, but for some reason it's not showing up, and I don't know why. So what you're going to do, up until that time, and even after that time, you are going to come into our Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office, Discord, and you're going to look for the House of Corrections. You're going to come down here to HOC Transport. It's going to be one man from Postal 263 to Sandy Station, and then to prison after officer dealt with. Um, after that record report gets put in, you're going to come to the CAD on your side. You're going to come down here. You're going to look for record management records. You're going to want to ignore that. Just press refresh because it's weird. And in one of these, so say if the transport record is under report, you'll find it opening the reports tab, lab transport record, or whatever the name is. If it's a uh, record, it's going to pop up under records. And then you just find it. And then uh, when you open it, there should be a record number. This is 26895. You will then take that number and you will post it in here. 26895. You would press enter. I'm not going to because it's not a transport thing. But this is how it gets handled. And that is what you guys need to do. Now, of course, after watching this video, make sure you hop on over to the steps for the new. And go through these. Hopefully you got here from following these. And you're just going to have to continue down the list. The outfit is in the SOP for HOC. You should see that down here in HOC Docs. It will be linked in the main SOP, which is found up here in Documents. Right here. Um, I will also post... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it right here in this video. You'll see Docs. You will copy this link. And we will paste. There you go. Now you'll find it right here at any point in time. No oh, jeez. All right. That is all. I hope to see you out there.